Another Chicago community is weighing in about the city's plans to use a closed hostel to house migrants. Yeah, now we're learning even more people are arriving in the city today. NBC 5's Lisa Chavaria joins us live here from Greektown. And uh, Lisa, those residents met with the city. How did that meeting go? Well, JC and Michelle, the residents, they wanted to express some of their concerns. The biggest one they talked about was safety. Now, the other, they had questions as to why city officials weren't addressing the homelessness problem that is being experienced in this area. They want to be able to take care of those who don't have places to stay, who already live here in Chicago. So residents, they packed this meeting that was held last night here in the 34th Ward. They found out at the meeting that just under 200 migrants are expected to move into Chicago's Greektown neighborhood next Friday. The city is planning to move asylum seeking migrants into the closed Chicago Parthenon guest house on Halstead near Jackson. City officials say there will most likely be single people staying here and not families. There will be no background checks performed by the city on the new residents, although officials say there will be security here 24 hours a day. Here's some of what residents had to say about this. I'm a Christian. I believe in helping everyone. Um, and that means everyone. I want to help the migrants, but I also want to help like the people I saw walking over here. It would be one thing to bring people in and you have the services and supports, but you don't have them. You don't even have them for the people who here. Chicago police also told residents that nearly 7,000 migrants are in city shelters right now, and almost 2,000 are waiting to be placed in temporary shelters. 1,500 of those people are still sleeping at Chicago police stations. And we mentioned that more buses are expected to arrive. Well, we've learned this information through our sister station, Telemundo, that heard from Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez that he says that he's expecting three buses to arrive here in the city, and one of them is expected to arrive as early as this afternoon. Reporting live in Chicago's Greek town neighborhood, Lisa Chavaria, NBC5 News.